Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Navi Keita car to review today. So this is the storyline car that you get for level 30. To be honest with you guys, I'm not sure if I'm going to get Romagnoli or uh, the Spanish striker Aspas because, you know, those cards already have informs right now. I don't know how hugely relevant they are. I think Navi Keita is probably going to be the person that people get the most if they do finish their season rewards. But regardless, we're going to be checking them out, right? So we're looking at someone that is 5'8". High medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. In regards to his in game player traits, he has the injury prone traits as well as the flare trait. In games for uh, stats, he has 82 acceleration with uh, 70, 71 for sprint speed. So, Shadow Chemistry style is definitely going to be very important to give him, to give him as much pace as possible playing through the midfield position. This is a type of card, guys, that in my opinion, I do mostly see being used as a center mid uh, because he looks well balanced for uh, most of the stats that he has in most of the areas. But I feel like in the CDM position, he would probably be more of your attacking oriented CDM if you were to do that, right? For fun. But I think that he's mostly a center mid, obviously, right? So we're going to give him a 92 acceleration with 90 or 81 sprint speed shooting on the cards at 79 for attacking positioning 79 for finishing with 81 for shot power so you know if he does get inside the 18 yard box he could potentially score some nice goals for us uh passing on the cards at 91 for short passing 81 for long passing at 68 curve and 85 vision uh dribbling on the card should be good because he has bare 90s bare minimum 90s uh, for a player that is five foot eight with 85 reactions and 85 composure. So I really hope his dribbling doesn't suck at all. It actually should be better than Oxlade Chamberlain's for sure. Uh, with the Shadow Chemistry style, we will be boosting the defense as well. So if we take a look over here, you can see that with the Shadow Chemistry style, we're going to give him 92 acceleration with 81 sprint speed while boosting his defense as much as possible. He's going to have 92 interceptions. I feel like the interceptions part is going to be the most relevant thing for a card like this right now. You could give him a shadow. If defensively you feel like he doesn't really make much of a difference, then you just give him the Hunter chemistry style to make his shooting as good as possible so that when he does get into the right areas attacking-wise, he can actually score the opportunities. Uh, we're also looking at a card that has 84 stamina with 83 aggression, so the aggression with the pace will definitely be very helpful. It's very important that a card like this actually has the acceleration over the sprint speed because of his dribbling capabilities, right? So um, that's where you're going to naturally feel the most. So... The way that we are going to be lined up in-game, uh, because I do see Navi Keita mostly being used in a 4-3-3 setup, is going to be like this, right? So we're going to be using him in that right center mid position, uh, while we have the instruction of this is on man mark, we're going to keep this on balance instructions, right? So we're not going to touch Genie or Navi Keita with the wingers on cut inside game behind and the striker just to be on whatever it is that he wants to be. Uh, this one, I'll, I wanted to try inverted for this actually recently, just to see how it kind of like works out if they do make those specific runs. But let's go ahead and try him out in game, guys. Hopefully he's um, hopefully he's good. He's the I think he's the best level thirty card. So all right, so let's switch to the four three three. Let's see how this card plays. His acceleration and movement so far, just from selecting him and kind of going into the play, is actually pretty solid so far. So. Pretty happy about that at the very least. Touch and go. Ooh, very smooth too. Dribbling feels nice in the card so far. Attacking run right there. We'll use the winger. Ah, too much on the pass right there. I feel like this card's going to be really fun to use. We'll see what's up. Aggressive on the run right there, but also stops because he thinks that the attacking space isn't really there for him. Good little pass right here, actually. See where he positions himself. Little fake shot to kind of position his body a certain way. Bounce touch. Not aggressive there. Um, I did think he was going to be more aggressive there in the attack, but obviously he didn't need to be. Um, the thing that, about this card, guys, that I feel like you're going to notice the most is going to be acceleration, height, and very good dribbling so far. Like, that's what I'm really feeling uh, with this card. I actually feel like he's probably going to be way more enjoyable to use an Oxlade Chamberlain in that center mid role. I love using this 4-3-3 uh, tactic because it's just, like, it's just really fun to use. It, it feels like real-life Liverpool, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it's really nice. 
Yeah, the thing you're going to like the most is definitely going to be his dribbling. The base card stats of minimum 90 with 85 reactions is going to be amazing. Aggressive run, first time pass, ball roll. Maybe get the pass right there. Oh, oh. Oh, I mean, okay. So normally I would have totally just shot that was Salah. It was on his left foot. Could have totally have done that. But, you know, for the sake of the review, just wanted to take that strike right there with Navi Keita. Um, I mean, guys, so if you're not looking at it from a current situation of your team, I feel like Navi Keita is probably going to be the best choice to get for sure, especially in that center mid role. He's going to be sick. Let's do a driven pass here with his weak foot. Nice. Pass the ball off to Salah. Fake shot. Touch. Touch. Shielding instantly. Actually did a good job there considering. Shot. Not bad. Um... Yeah, I mean, guys, honestly, the dribbling is going to be very important for you to enjoy. And again, like I said, the acceleration being higher than the sprint speed is going to be very important for this card. Yeah, it does pretty decent de decent there defensively, but you guys know how defending is in this game when it's like possession-based stuff. Little skill moves, see how they come off. Ball roll touch. Boom. Boom. Touch. Yep. He responds really well, guys. Very important, man. It is to be a throw in. Little flick. First time pass. Nice. Well weighted as well. Let's see what he does here. Oh, he utilizes empty space really well, actually. We forced that pass to him, obviously, but he does push forward to kind of like occupy that uh, attacking position as well. Later. Let's force a run out of him here. There we go. Ball roll, touch. I messed that up. I messed that up. I should have gone for a chip shot just for fun, but... Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, guys, again, when I make that pass, the thing that's there the most is acceleration, boys. Like, that's what it is. It's acceleration with his body type and dribbling stats. So the sprint speed, to be honest with you guys, you're not really going to notice that much in regards to general build-up play. Situation like here, like, you could see how aggressive he is attacking inside the 18-yard box, especially with the... Fast build-up instruction, right? A little fake shot comes off really quickly. A little acceleration there. Acceleration, man. That's, that's the key word I'm using for this review because it's the most important for a card like this. Even pushes off to the side right there. Interception's high. Touch. Shot across goal. I try to go for like a right-footed um, outside foot shot, but it didn't really work out. That's why it's nice to have the trade, because the players actually do it quite quite consistently. They still do it without it, it's just the consistency and how they do it that makes a difference, you know? Next time pass, fake shot, bounce pass, touch. Back on the inside, ball roll touch. Okay, so the reason why you want to do the ball roll touch into the actual defender is to test out what he's like composure-wise. And to be honest, man, it'll be perfectly fine for a card like this. a good tackle right there again acceleration high makes a difference movement is good ball roll touch body faint downwards wait for that run right there boom into the empty space finesse shot angle veron with the freaking crazy block i think we could have actually scored that one all right guys so i mean guys he's gonna be a good center mid for sure i want to play some regular fifa and see what we can do Nicely done. Good goal right there. We'll take that. All right, guys. So final verdict on this Navi Keita card. It's really good, dude. So for me personally, uh, a shadow chemistry style definitely makes the most sense because even though he's small, you notice him actually intercepting the ball quite often, which is great. Um, you don't notice his other defensive characteristics that much. But like I said, he's a card that I see people mostly using in the center mid position anyways. The important thing with this card for him to be as good as possible uh, is the fact that he is a five foot eight player with lean body type uh, while having minimum nine. 90 in the right dri uh, dribbling stats, right? He has 85 reactions with them too, which is great. If it was at an 80 or a 79, it would be a little bit more questionable, but 
that with the 85 composure, the acceleration being higher than the sprint speed, passing stats being good for base card stats, um, you know, having the 83 aggression, this card is definitely very good. So if you guys decide to get him in your team to use him as a center midfielder, you're looking at a pretty decent card. If you use him in the CDM position, defensive presence wise, he's definitely going to be more attacking oriented for sure. However, if you use him in the CDM area, He's the type of player that you're going to notice the interceptions the most, like I said, right? But everything else, not so much. So you, you may want to have a more defensive-oriented player next to him. You may want to be more attacking-oriented. There's people that do high, high work rates for both of their CDMs, and you know they do really well with it. So it really just depends on you. But remember, he is a high-medium work rate player with 79 attacking positioning. So he's going to attack whenever he's given the opportunity to. But like I said, guys, as a center mid, he's really fun to use. He can shoot with both feet. You know, he can pass the ball. He has some dribbling and defensive characteristics. It's a good midfielder card. Again, the important things is body type, dribbling, and pace. The acceleration being higher than the sprint speed is what makes this card really good in game. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.